Elaine Fuchs has collected many awards in her 30 years researching mammalian skin development, but it's hard to beat the two prizes she received in late 2009. Shortly before winning the prestigious L'Oreal UNESCO Award for Women in Science, Fuchs was awarded the National Medal of Science, the US's highest honour for outstanding scientific contributions. After studying bacterial sporulation as a PhD student with Charles Gilvarg at Princeton, Fuchs joined Howard Green's laboratory at MIT, where she investigated the expression of keratins in differentiating skin cells. Fuchs then returned to her native Illinois to begin her own lab at the University of Chicago, and stayed there for more than 20 years before moving to the Rockefeller University in New York in 2002. Fuchs's research has touched on many aspects of skin differentiation and function. In Chicago, she pioneered the use of mouse genetics as a model for human disease, discovering that mutant keratins are responsible for skin-blistering diseases like epidermolysis bullosa simplex. In more recent years, she's focused on identifying and characterizing the multipotent stem cell population of the epidermis, and investigated the numerous signaling pathways such as notch and wint that determine how and when these stem cells differentiate into hair follicles, sebaceous glands, and the different epithelial layers of the skin. She also retains an interest in the cytoskeletal proteins that allow skin cells to migrate and carry out these morphogenetic programs. In a recent interview, Fuchs discussed her latest awards and explained why the skin continues to hold her interest. What is it about the skin that's captivated you for so long? And skin is such a complex organ. It's really the perfect system. Um, we focus on the epithelium of the skin, but epithelial and mesenchymal interactions play a very important role um, in dictating uh, the behavior of, of keratinocyte stem cells whether they're going to stratify and make an epidermis, or whether they're going to make a spacious gland or a hair follicle. Here are all these completely different structures. How does that happen? How do you start with a stem cell and build a tissue, and then understanding that, how do you start with a stem cell and build different kinds of tissues? To me, uh, that probably will occupy <coughs> most of my scientific career. There's lots of different facets to the problem, ranging from transcription to cell-cell interactions, cell-substratum interactions, um, uh, issues of, of signals, um, and really understanding how that all happens and then how does, the, how does the tissue respond? As soon as you wound the skin, all of a sudden what the tissue's normally doing isn't what it has to do now. And so there are all those interesting facets of of, I think, basic biological problems. You were one of very few female group leaders when you started in Chicago. What was that like? Um, I guess the first experience I had was when the technician from the chair of the department came down and introduced himself when I was setting up the, my, my office and my lab and, and said, are you Dr. Fuchs's new technician? And, uh, and I just say, I am Dr. Fuchs. <laughs> so, um, so I guess there was this sort of aspect that it wasn't very conventional for women certainly to be recruited into chemistry-oriented, in this case biochemistry, department. You recently won the National Medal of Science. How was your trip to the White House? Oh, it was fabulous. <laughs> um, it was particularly fabulous. Um, because Obama is in office. Um, I have to say it's, uh, uh, it's just wonderful to have a president of the United States really care and recognize the importance of science and basic research in, and the importance of science education um, in our country. Now that you've won all these awards, is it time to put your feet up? Um, I think none of us go into science or uh, for the for the glory of of the endpoint. On the other hand, it's very nice to be recognized 
for the accomplishments that we do. Um, so will it prompt me to change? One of my colleagues wrote me a note saying, don't, uh, don't rust on your laurels. I think that was a very good comment. Um, but I certainly have no intentions <laughs> to do that. Um, and uh, I'm just as excited about, about the science now as I was had none of this happened in this past four or five months. <laughs>